Hello and welcome back. Uh, Crosstown Gamer here, and we're going to be continuing our playthrough of Cuba Libre. Um, we're playing as the 26th July forces, and we're going against the bot players here. Um, and so uh, we just had our third propaganda card not that long ago. So the fourth one and final one it can come up at any time, at which case the, the game will end. Um, and, you know, it'll be sad because this, this series will be done, but rest assured, I'm going to be doing all these uh, coin games, including Liberty or Death, which isn't here, but um, it's, it's actually on the way. It's being shipped right now. Um, I think the next one is either going to be Andy and Abyss or Falling Sky, because I think those are a little bit uh, either similar to Cuba Libre in the, in the instance of Andy and Abyss, or um, complexity-wise, it's really not that much of a step up. <clears throat> Probably saving Pendragon and Fire in the Lake for closer to the end. Um, but, yeah, we'll be doing a lot of these, so strap in and uh, get ready for some exciting times. Um, I took a quick lay of the land and made sure everything was correct here, and the Syndicate player is currently at their victory conditions. They have enough casinos and they have enough resources. They need to be over 30 resources, and they're way up here at 49. So the best thing we can do is close these casinos so that it will cost them five resources every time to reopen them. Um, and that way, hopefully, either they will end the game dipped below the right amount of uh, casinos or will um, war of attrition them down to where they can't um, have enough resources. Government player is totally screwed. Um, they don't have enough support at all. Um, Directorio is still in it, and we're well positioned too. Even though we're at 12 out of 16, we're only three quarters of the way there. All we need is something good to happen in Oriente or another two population um, space, and that would put us over what we need. So, without any further ado, let's dive right in. The next card is El Che, and the government player is first eligible. Um, I'm gonna assume that they don't want to do this card because it would benefit us. Yeah, choose Ops and Special Activity instead. So, let's go down the list. Nope, they have control, uh, troops and police in all the cities, or, and the base space. Um, we and the Directorio are not at an economic center currently, so this is false. Um, assault plus Special Activity would add government control or remove a base or three guerrillas. So, looking at the spaces where they can assault, it's anywhere with cubes. Um, and so they could assault in Pinar del Rio, but it would only um, take away one, because they only have one cube here, and, and this is the only active one. Um, and if they... They've got three gorillas. The Syndicate has three gorillas up here, but if they assaulted, it wouldn't have any effect, because these are not active. Um... And, yeah, the other locations as well. I suppose they could assault to close a casino here. Um, remove a base or... Yeah, uh, let me just double-check the requirements for assault. Any spaces. Yeah. Remove one active gorilla or base. Bases last. I assume that counts as closing a casino. Because you base, yeah, let me double check to make sure that casinos are included in this base's last thing. Oh, I should have just looked over at what assault does. It is true, they will, if syndicate players at victory close casinos, they are at victory, so they will do this because they are able to remove a base. Um, and so they are going to assault after all. The place. Oh, they're going to add their special activity before, which is uh, remove a base, close casino. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Remove gorilla, wear cube. Okay, so... All right, so we'll do this first. We'll just dive right in. Um, we'll airstrike first in order to close a casino so they can do this here um this is a good spot for them to do that i think that's the only spot i guess they could technically close a casino here um 
but they're not going to do that. <clears throat> they're going to do that here because, um, because why? Actually, you know, they could do it at either location. We're protected from losing our base here, but the syndicate doesn't have any gorillas here, so they have the opportunity to have their uh, casino get closed in Pinar del Rio. And similarly, the it's unprotected down here. So we are going to just roll a die to determine which space the airstrike will occur in. Uh, one, two, three for Pinar del Rio, four, five, six for Santiago de Cuba. Five. So they will end up closing this one. And now the Syndicate player is no longer at victory. They are one below. So yay for the government for, for doing that for us. Okay, that was their airstrike. And um, then, so yeah, player at victory is the first person they'll target anyway, because they could have removed um, one of our gorillas instead. Anyway, now they will assault... If the Syndicate players at Victory close casinos, well, they're not anymore, so this is no longer um, something that they're able to do because the other locations where there are casinos have um, protection. <clears throat> so they will assault to remove the most 26 July or DR bases. They're not in any spaces with bases except for this one but again it's protected by us so they can't remove bases there they will try to take cash but we just did the propaganda round so they're not going to be taking any cash <clears throat> and lastly they're going to remove the most gorillas and they're going to prioritize us over the directorio um so the only place with active gorillas is here they have one troops cube if you look at the government player sheet um, assault is going to be remove one active gorilla or base for each troop cube so they're only going to be able to remove one piece for every cube anyway uh, unless it was a mountain which it's a forest so not a mountain so it's a one-to-one -one thing um, they can only do one piece for two reasons and that's because there's only one active gorilla here and there's only one troops cube so they will use this cube to attack this piece and that goes back to our available forces and that cost them four resources the airstrike was free um oh wait they can't do this if they're embargoed oh they're not embargoed <laughs> they had an event or the syndicate had an event last turn which um allowed them to go up on the u.s alliance track so i'm not cheating here by allowing the government to close that casino um Actually, if they couldn't have done that, then they would have just assaulted there anyway or assaulted up here to close the casino. So no harm, no foul. But they removed our piece, and that cost the four resources. So they go from 12 down to 8. And that was their turn. That was their operation and their special activity. Um, so then the Syndicate player... I'm going to assume they also want to do an operation and special activity because El Che doesn't help them. Correct. So um, they will do operation and special activity. And I probably did it again. I probably cheated again and did a full operation for ourselves on that spot. And that's just because I'm getting in this rhythm of like doing that all the time. Um, and I'm not really reading the space that I'm in. So apologies if... I've done that multiple times now. Uh, syndicate player. Whoops. I'm causing destruction. Um, so Syndicate would add a gorilla where a casino has none. No, they don't have any. Yeah, again, they, they have no um, available forces here. So they're not going to do that. Would they march to an empty economic center or with cash? No. Um, so available plus closed casinos greater than cash on map. Uh, there's zero cash on map. So because they have closed casinos and stuff, then that that's a yes. So they'll construct if the next prop card will be final. Yes, it is. Uh, wait, okay. So let's just make sure in one space or in two spaces of syndicate resources are greater than 35. So that's true. 
Um, the next prop card will be final. So they're going to open closed casinos where Syndicate has no cash. And then they're going to um, try to place new closed casinos if possible. So let's look at their construct. They're going to do this in two spaces. And boy. All right. Cost five resources per space in each selected space. Either close, place a closed casino or open a closed. So they're going to open because it's the last prop round. They're going to do this in two spaces. Um, scratch that. They're going to do it in one space because there's only one space with a uh, closed. Oh, no, but they're going to do it in two spaces still. It's just they're going to place their last closed casino and then they're going to open one. So this will cost them 10 resources. Uh, so they go from 49 down to 39. They will open this closed casino with one of them, pushing them back up to victory for now. And then their second spot, they're going to place a, a casino here. Um, where will they do it? Hopefully where there's already one casino. Otherwise, they can only do it... Um, so the government or syndicate controls... Places where the government or syndicate controls. Um, you know what, though? Th those spots only... They already are capped out. They can't do it here, where they only have one casino, uh, because it's not under government or syndicate control. So they're stuck. Um, then I'll push this back up. Uh, one, two. Uh, five resources, because they only did the construct in one location. Then they will attempt to profit. So at one or two open casinos, they're going to place up to two uh, cash where the syndicate has no cash and then uh, where there's no enemy. Um, that's essentially most places. Or that's uh, in Havana, La Habana, and Camagüey. In the cities... Um, no, in those two cities and then La Habana province. So I think it's a toss-up on where their priority is because they have enemies in each of those spots. So we're going to roll, we're, we're going to do, um, it's in one or two spots. So they're going to do this in two spots. So I will roll uh, either a one or a two, three or a four, or a five or a six, and that place will not get the cash marker. Um, one or two. So in Havana, we'll not get the cash marker. We're going to put this cash marker down in uh, La Habana, which is a little crowded right now. And we're going to put the other one down here in Camagüey, if we're able to. Great. And that was their turn. We'll adjust eligibility, and we will play the new card. New card is Meyer Lansky. Next card, so not the prop card yet, the 12. And we are up first. Um, and so what does this card say? Within a space, transfer any cash among any gorillas or cubes. So we could effectively steal cash if we were in the same spot as that. Uh, since we're not, though, this has no value for us. So I think we're going to do um, an operation in special activity unless this is just too good to pass up and we need to pass. So a faction of uh, free marches then rallies at the march, or free rallies at the march destination. Interesting. I don't think that's so good that we need to pass to do that, especially with limited time. Because um, we only have one available gorilla, and so we could like free march and then plop a base down, but we have all of our bases. So um, I think we really just need to focus on getting over the threshold for victory now. So we, what we really need is to march into Oriente and then do like terror or, or something there. We can do terror here too, hopefully. Um, heck, we could even do it here. Um, it would just take a few tries to, to fully... 
Ooh, but doing it here, we might be able to get uh, kidnap in, and that'll give us a ton of resources. So I think the first thing we need to do, though, is march, because we need to get into Oriente to be able to do um, the terror and kidnap ops. Um, so let's march. Any space, one resource per destination, and... Let's look to see if there's any other spots we would want to potentially march into. Um, so we definitely want to do it into Oriente. So it'll cost us one resource there. Um, I think... Oh, economic centers are free. So we could march this gorilla into this economic center. I don't know if that's really the smartest thing. I want to protect that base. Um... We could march one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven things in La Habana. So unless we were able to march in seven things, which we're not, we're not going to be able to take control over. Um, I think that's basically fine where it's at. Maybe we would want to march. Well, I guess we could march some in and then tear anyway. We don't need to. Um... Oh, man, but they're going to become active in there. <sighs> okay, so maybe we'll just, yeah, let's just do the march in the one location and call it good. We need to take in four things to get control, so let's do that. We'll move in our four guys, and uh, because our destination, if destination has support, Oh, so it doesn't have support, so we don't need to worry about activating the gorillas there. Um, so that's good. Oh, you know, yeah, we could we could march in there and it wouldn't activate gorillas too. I'm thinking that's a that's a good idea actually. Let's let's do a few guys, maybe like three. So this will cost two resources, and because there's no support um, here, uh, this is going to block government control first of all. Um, and then second of all, because there's no support, then we don't have to worry about this last part about activating gorillas. So no worries there. It costs us the two. Let's do the two resources for that. And then, um, the pairing for the, um, special activity is infiltrate. So a space without support, we can remove or replace one cube there. Police first with the, G uh, the DR gorilla. Let's do that. Um, I see no reason why not to take our last available force here and replace one of the police that's there. That sounds like a smart thing to do. So that was our infiltrate. Oh, and we take any cash that was removed. Oh, can I do a... Oh, it's, it's got to be cubes. I was going to say, it would be really great if it was just gorillas because then we could take that cash. Cash money. Eggs and money. So that was our uh, operation and special activity. Directorio's up. Let's see if they have special instructions for Meyer Lansky. And they do. Transfer the most cash as possible to Directorio. If none, choose ops and special activity instead. They're going to do the if none because they don't have um, any spaces where they have cash nearby. <clears throat> so they're going to go here and we'll go through their flowchart. Can they terror in an active space? The active, the only active spaces on the board at this point only have our guys in it, I think. So here, here, and that's it. Every other space is passive or neutral. Which is crazy, because there were like no neutral spots before the prop card. Um, or assassinate a government base. Nope. Uh, no here. Again, they're out of units in the available forces attacking remove one or two enemy pieces or would add dr control uh, let's look at their attack command any spaces with gorilla and enemy activate all gorillas remove two enemy pieces yep that seems pretty standard so if they did here uh, they would have, yeah, they would gain control from that. Um, so maybe it was a bummer for us to move so many out here. Maybe we should have only done two. It's too late, though. We can't go back.
we can never go back. So, um, that's a yes. They're going to attack in up to three spaces. If they attacked here, <laughs> okay, I mean, it's possible they would be able to get control. Oh, yeah, this was supposed to flip because um, we marched in there. Um, I guess it's possible. And attack would do nothing there. So let's look at their attack command again and just see. I think it's only it's only going to remove one piece unless... Oh, no, two pieces. Um, less than or equal to the number of gorillas. So they have to roll a one here in order to, to do the, the thing. But I think they do ambush. Um, so... Let's let's check what it does. Um, so they're going to attack in two places. They're going to ambush with underground uh, DR gorillas, and okay, yeah, ambush. So ambush is a maximum of one space, so they can only ambush in one spot. And they're going to attack elsewhere with at least okay. So they'll ambush, I think the way I'm reading this is they're going to ambush in the spot where they don't have at least four guys and they're going to just regular attack in the spot where they have four, four guys. Then they're going to take cash, do the player at victory, um, which is the syndicate, but they're not there. Uh, they're going to target the government and then the syndicate. Um, so I don't know if they're going to target us then with enemy and we're not listed here just give me a sec to read the rules yep um so it's not listed here but the july 26 player is the very last priority and also i was reading this correctly um, in the rules it talks about how if there's just one gorilla then you're going to ambush there you're going to attack there but you're going to ambush um and so yeah they're going to attack in two spots it will cost them one resource per space and they will ambush uh, in the first attack space selected uh, against the selected target. So, does ambush cost anything? No. The attack um, activates one gorilla and automatically succeeds, and then place a directorial gorilla. Uh, well, they can't place one because they don't have any to place, but they'll uh, activate this gorilla here, remove two of our troops, or forces, gorillas. I keep saying troops, and that's wrong. And then they're going to just regular attack here. Um, this will cost them a total of two resources. Let me do that first. Um, and then uh, the regular attack is they're going to roll a die, and they have to roll under their number here. So uh, if they roll greater than, if they roll a five or a six, nothing's going to happen. Um, but if they roll a four or less, then they're going to get to remove two um, gorillas there. And if they roll a one, that's a um, great success, and they only will, uh, or they get to also replace or place one of their own gorillas there as well. Um, they don't have any to place, um, but they're still going to do this. It does activate all their gorillas, and so if they roll a one through four, then two of our guys go away, and a five or a six nothing happens oh gosh so big time success for them they get to knock out two more of our forces hopefully this doesn't change things too dramatically so they paid for it they performed the action they performed the ambush special activity i think they're done so we will adjust eligibility and i think we can get through one more and it's the 12. The next card on the docket is Alberto Bayo. So, the 12 the syndicate players up first. Let's see if they have special instructions. Um, the 12. Nope. Don't see it listed here. I know I could I should be able to tell just looking at the thing because um, there there's like a halo around it if but for me it's hard to tell um, especially with the darker 
Uh, like it's easy to tell with the directorio, but with the darker outlines, um, it's hard to tell. So I always double check. So they will do the event. Remove half rounded up of any gorillas from the space with the most gorillas. Holy smokes. Okay. Um, the space with the most gorillas. I mean, inarguably, it's this one. Um, Camagüey province. All the other ones have four or fewer, it looks like. So um, half rounded up. And there's two, four, six, eight, ten here. So they're going to remove five of these. Jeez. <laughs> That's notably right under the threshold with which the directorio would rally because <laughs> they need six plus available gorillas. Um, so they removed half. They still have control. Really, that wasn't the end of the world. Um, it was a pretty piss poor action, actually. Um, so they did the event. Now the government players up. They'll do operation and special activity. Let's take a look at their chart again. This one now is true because there's a government base that lacks government control, and that's here. So they have a government base in La Habana province, but no control. Um, so until there are fewer than four cubes available, and they have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and they're going to place police and troops as evenly as possible. Um, at cities and government bases where there's no government control. Okay. In one province with two plus cubes and no government... Play okay, they're not going to do this. If no base built, they're going to buy uh, civic action in a training space. So they, they're only going to do this in one space. Um, and it's going to be here. So they're going to try to buy civic action there. Uh, they're going to place four cubes. Because that's how train works. Let me just um, verify and show you. So the government train action, it's going to cost them their three resources. Oh, man, did I... I hope I didn't accidentally spend more than I should have for resources for the government player, because they should only be spending three per right now. I may have done that. I may have inadvertently nerfed them more than they should have been. Um, so one, two, three. And this was here. Um, three, and they're going to add four cubes, and they're going to do it, they're not going to do the base stuff, and they're doing this until there are fewer than four cubes here, so just one time, and man, this is just getting out of, out of control, <laughs> although it's going to be in government control pretty soon. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then there's seven things, so it still doesn't have control. So they're going to try to do civic action. I think in order to do civic action, um, yeah, they need control. So they actually needed two more things. Maybe it's good that we put in all those those uh, gorillas after all. Then they weren't able to buy their civic action um, and mess with the support there. So... Um, that's a pretty hefty space. Usually, I think I've made a note of this before, a lot of the other coin games have like an overflow box, so you can put the overflow tag there and then move everything to this big box off to the side. Um, but nope, it's just got to deal with the crowded nature of the thing. So then they did training, and then they're going to transport from a city with government control, the most troops above, Two provinces with police but no troops. That's not one where there's active guerrillas exceeding troops. Yeah, that, that's happening in a lot of spots. They're going to move up to three troops um, to remove enemy control and then add government control. So where active guerrillas exceed troops would be, for example, here. There's four to one. Um, here there's two to one. Oh no, active gorillas, sorry. Um, none of those gorillas are active. So they're going to do it to remove enemy control and then to add government control. Uh, that's going to be the gist of it. <clears throat> Location any. Move up to three troops from a city to any one space. So they're going to do so to remove enemy control first. 
Where can they place troops, three troops, to move, remove enemy control? One, two, three. They could do it in Pinar del Rio. Would that give them control? They would have four, and there would be four things. No, but it would remove my control. Um, they could do it in Las Villas, and that would give them government control. So they're probably going to do it there. Uh, or Sierra Maestra, same thing. They could they could do it to regain uh, control of that sector, and they're going to do it from the city with the most troops above control. So in here they can remove one and still keep control. Here they've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to three, so they need to keep four. So they could move four things. Yes. Um. Right. Eight. One, two, three. Four, yeah. Eight. And then in Havana, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to five. So they would need to keep six things in there, which means they would be able to get rid of three things. So it looks like they're going to move from Camagüey. And then they could either move into Sierra Maestra or Las Villas in order to gain government control and to remove my control. Um, so they will do that. And so looks like a rando dice roll. Uh, population doesn't matter. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, five. So down here. So they're going to move from Camagüey into Sierra Maestra. They're going to get a marker. Interesting. And that was their transport. They can just do that one time. So we'll adjust, adjust. And that was the 12. Next on deck is Alberto Bayo, followed by Brac, B R A C. Um, see, there's those halos I was talking about. They're, they're visible. I just need to look harder. Um, there's just a couple of cards left, so I think maybe next video or the one after that is going to be the end. So, um, I will double check, you know, control and all the victory conditions here between videos. And otherwise, I will see you all next time. Um, always please remember to comment if you see any rules mistakes that I don't catch. Um, and otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye.